What's up there? Hello? What's schedule? <clears throat> hey everybody. I do the best I can. All right, next week we're moving. Stream will be down. The stream will be down next week, down. Schumacher with the rated challenge tried to sneak that in there on me. Asturbate, thanks for tipping $11 yesterday. Anonymous resubscribed yesterday as well. Thank you. Rishit, <clears throat> thanks for being a subscriber. Schnedsteg, Sh Schnedsteg. Gets, gets dens. Get stents. It doesn't make more sense backwards either. <clears throat> All right, just wanted to try that out. Rahamos. <laughs> I've got my first challenge of the day against against um, Mr. Schumacher. Happy Memorial Day to our American friends and. I um, want to wish Mr. Coffee and, and Move 11 luck in their tournament. We are live. We're live. Really got to try to adjust this camera so it's not so stupid, but nothing I can do about its placement, really. <clears throat> All right. Schumacher. I, I don't know why, I'm, I'm suddenly like, I like playing the Queen's Gambit Accepted. I've been practicing the Queen's Gambit Accepted against, against random noobs, but this move, um, personal favorite of mine. Personal favorite of mine. Please, Knight D7. Did I do that? Did I do that? Are we there yet, Donkey? The Dvorak. Dude. I don't know, man. Dvorak. Dvorak is a composer, right? Alright. I know a little. Not much. More than your average happy girl who's like 1500 streaming with 900 viewers. I figured out the secret, basically. People with no skills, like, decide to stream chess. Like, they want to stream, but they suck at video games, so they're like, Oh, I'll be a chess streamer. And they're all the same. They're like, they have little little lights in their bedroom. And then, that's why I decided to make two of our, two of our um, tags today, happy and unicorns. Happy unicorns. We're gonna turn the ship around. Asturbate, are you gonna turn your ship around? Turn this freaking ship around. Ship around. Sergei ship around. What happens if I played like knight d7? I mean, I know this is normal, but... Alright, we'll play it. Wow, that's so gross. This bishop e2. Sergei ship, ship hop around. He's a big, he's a big Putin supporter. Husky, Husky, Husky. <clears throat> I think that actually means something in Hungarian, but just a coincidence. 
Oh god, it's like playing Schieberspieler. Insipid. This is like one of Schieberspieler's games from the analysis stream. Husky, thanks for resubscribing. How are you? Husky. It's a fat, fat child, or a child that wears, you know, it's, it's husky size, husky, or the other meaning of husky is obviously the, the Alaskan sled dog or whatever. You're either a fat child or an Alaskan sled dog. Mm. Fat children are husky. You can't use that terminology for adults. Rook D1. Unfortunately, I'm not an authority on Queen's Gambit Accepted. I wish I was. I always wanted to play it. I played it a few times, but never with particularly much knowledge or good results. You have played me, but things were getting so complicated, so I had to take chances I didn't take advantage of. So I had chances I didn't take advantage of. This is Snedstig. I can read. Miro says huskies are cool. You live in Alaska. So the Alaskan husky? I mean, I just made that up. Huskies aren't necessarily Alaskan, right? Are they? Alaskan Malamute. Husky, husky, husky. What is the, the description usually? Um, huskies. What are those dogs called? Do they have another word in their name? Like something huskies? Alaskan huskies? There are. There are Alaskan huskies. Okay. Alaskan or Siberian? Siberian. That's what I was. Yeah. Siberian. Is a thing. The Alaskan ones are the ones that walked across the land bridge. And the Siberian ones are the ones that see it on the other side. They're basically the same thing. <sighs> okay. I give up. Queen B3. You're gonna have both, an Alaskan Siberian Husky. <clears throat> of course, because you're 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 Russian by heritage, of course you would be you would be having a Siberian Husky. I'm just gonna castle. Let me guess, Rook C1, 40 years ago. All my dogs were mutts. We always had mutts. Okay, A4, finally, um, just as I was gearing up for Rook to C1. This is kind of like White's main thing in this opening, or this variation. He's going to try to weaken my queenside 
I don't think the Schumacher did it right, but his, you know, his setup looks a little convoluted, honestly. Did it right. Do it right, man. Or don't do it. Do it right or don't do it. Mm hmm. Space. Space Invaders. Welcome to Space Invaders. 93. Shit, he listened to me. Never listen to your opponent. Never take your opponent's advice unless they're using reverse psychology. I think your A4 was a little too late. But you can definitely beat, like, you know, 1500 chess girls. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, what happened in the theory department here? Where did you go wrong? You're supposed to play a4 like much earlier, right? Let's say bishop b2, bishop b7. Or you can play d takes d5. Oh, you did play d2. Are you supposed to go into the ending with like queen takes d8? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, of course. He's supposed to play the ending. This is Schieber Spieler versus Krijan Laszlo. Something like this. Bishop f3, a4. Boring and ultra safe. Maybe we played it before. I don't play the Queen's Game Accepted much. But, um, yeah. Chess for chickens. The one time I played. No, I played different. I played differently with white. I played b3. I lost to this Mongolian grandmaster once. Queen c2 question mark. The fetish. Fetishist. Oof. Wow, it's like minus four. All right, next game. Next customer. King Kong is back. Husky is a subscriber, Sensei is a subscriber, and Arsenal fan is a subscriber. Oof, this is a rough group. This is a rough group. <clears throat> rough. Rough, rough, rough. Ugh, oh, you don't play e4. He prevents e5. Knight of three is the most annoying move that White can play. I know because I've played it a lot. Now you play e4. So you just don't like e4, e5. That's Husky's problem. He doesn't like e4, e4, e5. Check. So we're transposing to the Rosalimo. It is pretty weird to play knight f3 so you can get the white side of a Rosalimo. Just saying. <clears throat> Wait a second, you're castling right away. That's the normal move, right? I always play knight f3 so I can transpose to the white side of the Rosalimo. Okay, it's a repertoire. Um, do we play this already? I forgot. Schumacher is always like, oh yeah, we played this six times. This other guy, like, sent me a message yesterday. That I played, I played him twice and I didn't remember him the second game or something. Jesus Christ. I have like 30,000 games here. I've been streaming for six years. I can't remember everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> and I have a bad memory to begin with. <clears throat> I 
I don't remember any of my games, it seems like, against Schumacher, because there's too many of them. I've tried every opening against him. Didn't get to watch it on stream. Oh, okay, Miro. Yeah, your game. Your game. The game. The announced the stream from yesterday. I put my heart and soul into it. Spanish. So Husky plays Knight of Three to avoid E4 E5, and then he plays E4 E5 anyway. <clears throat> Makes sense. What I feel like is a moral victory for us. Force the Knight F3 player to play E4 E5 against his will. Can I replace? Replaced. We're here to please you, the customer, Arsenal. Customer's always right. I'm just kidding. Um, this is not really a service, it's more like a club. But, yeah, you can play whenever you want to play. Service club. You're playing like Arsenal. Wait's actually playing like Arsenal. Play like Arsenal. Wait a minute here. Can you really do that? Take, take, night before? Yeah, you can do that. It's not exactly a standard, not exactly a standard sort of Opaz. I always um, avoided this because in principle I thought, I refuse to be like forced to play E4, E5 when I'm a Sicilian player. And it's not even like a proper, it's not even a proper, you know, Roy Lopez or something. Any resemblance between this and the Roy Lopez is merely, merely a coincidence. Weird messages, messages, weird bangings and murmurings. Bangings and murmurings. Your guess is as good as mine. Do we go into like alms mode? Or put the knight on a5? I'll be right back. I guess the neighbors in the next building are like banging on the wall or something. <clears throat> See you later, wouldn't want to be ya. B3. I don't know what to make of this position. Macon, Georgia. C4. I'm going to regret this. How's a knight of three player qualified to play this type of position? It's 
it's unbelievable. All right, what about a five, a four, a five? Your rooks are not connected, but mine are. A four, a five. Damn the banger! Yeah, they're banging on the wall. It's not from my end. They only do it when I'm streaming. It's so weird. We haven't had any banging. As soon as they turn on the stream, it starts. I'm glad I'm moving. God, I hate this. Constantly something here. It's beautiful weather and there's banging on the wall. Screw them, they've been doing it for like years. A4. Sounds like very amateur banging. Not like pro. Non pro. Dude. I want to bang back. It's like the wall between two buildings, and I think on the other side they don't have a freaking clue, like, what they're banging on. Because I don't even live in the same building. I don't even know they're like banging on someone's apartment wall or... It sounds crazy close. It sounds hollow too. There should be like a, a thick stone wall between us. I don't understand why that sounds so hollow. You hear that? How hollow that sounds? Alright, I'm gonna go for this. This is a little more active. Active and bad. Just the way I like it. And they're like... Like, who hammers like that? Like, seriously? It's like home do it yourself first or something. One of the biggest problems in Hungary is that we we have this like okay, lots of apartments that just sit around and, and no one no one is in any hurry to like refurbish them. So so these like landowners will take like years to slowly I mean, they'll like not work on it for like six months and then come back, work for a week and then come back, you know, so it just goes on forever. It's not like in the United States where like you're getting destroyed with property taxes. If you're going to own a property, you better do something with it or you're going to like lose your shirt. Um, all right. Bishop takes B5. Oh, he sees everything like. It's unbelievable. Just the guy that sees everything. Unbelievable. Dude. He just stop harassing me stop the harassment this hammering is like a it's like a sort of Chinese water torture they just do a little bit like every few minutes this has been going on for like three years. They have been very silent lately though. Oh shit. Wow. Queen E3. 
two. The QE two. Of course. Every knight a three player knows how to play this position perfectly with white. White really pressing on all sides of the board here? I don't think so. Whatsoever. He's pressing on one side of the board, the queen side. What you talking about, Willis? Nobody's pressing on the king side. Um... Speaking of the king side's lockdown, maybe I'll play f5. We try to distract him while he's not looking. <sighs> Dysphasia. Aphasia. Dyspraxia, whatever that is. See, this is the kind of game I really want to play in time pressure. All of my pawns are hanging. His are never hanging, just mine. Disorder. How bad is a retinal detachment? A friend of mine just had to have emergency eye surgery. No, he just got eye surgery. He said. Wow. Nice. Am I lost yet? I don't bother to calculate anymore. I just do like random stuff. Sounds bad. Just like suddenly something that suddenly happens to you, you like can't see. Well, that sounds fun. <clears throat> oh, it's gradual over time. Okay. Now I understand better. I thought it was something sudden. Getting the shit beat out of you in a pub? No, this guy doesn't drink. I'm just kidding. That's like just getting your body detached, your head detached. Head detachment. You're not going to see a lot of pub fights from teetotalers. <clears throat> Arsenal, did you ever have a head injury? <laughs> I was going to say, if, if you want one, just let me know. <laughs> oh, you got it. He got it after cataract surgery. Check it out. Giving up the Dark Scar Bishop by White. Jesus. What will they think of next? Unbelievable. That shit is unbelievable. Wow. All my pawns are hanging. What will they think of next? I said that already. was the plan. 
How many pawns am I down now? Look, I have a past a pawn. Apex predator. I'm an apex predator. Bishop b5? Doesn't even do anything. Epoxy. Epic. I just didn't even calculate, I just make moves. The b pawn, the I don't even count the material. How many pawns am I down? Only one? Whoa. B Ponda versus A Ponda. Oh, he didn't want to get pinned. Jesus. Wait, that's compensation for my pawn. Is that what you're telling me? Being a gingy joke? White resigned. Well, I don't see any reason for White to lose this game. Maybe on the final move. Wow, he's really worse here. Okay, you were fine until move 38. I didn't think I was winning, honestly. So I have, like, no way to penetrate directly. Yeah, he's, well, the word is better, okay? Yeah. He was better. Oh, he was really winning with b7. That's, like, literally winning. Yeah, White played a really good, I thought a good game, but it's complicated. Wow, it was plus four after knight a3. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Worse than I thought, my god. Yeah, yeah, I'm just screwed. Raleigh Martinez. Who's Raleigh Martinez? Man, I'm just screwed, man. C4 is just bad. So this whole position just sucks. The whole position just sucks. 
So I have to do this. I was afraid to do this night before. I'm like, oh, I'm losing my A pawn. Oh no. Better than other options. It takes E4. Wow, this is fascinating. All right. If we're gonna play that, we have to learn to play it better. After A4, I'm basically positionally lost. Snet stag. Of course, you can't play a position like that well with five, seven plus five. It's, it's impossible, man. There's no way that we're gonna play a good game with that time control in that kind of position. It's just too hard to play such locked, closed positions well in, in fast time limits. Tactics are much easier. Oh man, the London. The London is coming your way. The modern, really? Oh, you're the one who's, you do like gingy Indian type of stuff? An alternative center, alternative core. You mentioned Gingy Indian, you know. I'm 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 a talented Gingy Indian amateur myself. I played this move order with black too. The Ben Benji Indian. Yeah. Modern players. Call yourself a modern player. I how many games I had with like Alexander Ivanov, where I played against the modern without playing e4. I was talking about one yesterday where he he fianchetted his queen on g7 after grabbing my pawn. Yeah, we probably had this before. This particular move order, um, I can play knight c3 and play a four move Chinji Indian, but probably better not to. So e4 is normal. I don't know what what I'm thinking about here. Um, I also had this game with like Kovalenko, Ivanov, Medvedev Zoltan, a lot of people. They'll do e6 and play it kind of Benoni, but not necessarily putting the knight on f6. Now you're just straight up going to modern Benoni. Well, Benoni. He can play a Benko type of thing. I don't know what you call it after like b5. I think I actually did that with black against Horvath Chaba once. It's basically a Benko, although I, I think there's some weird lines you can go like Queen A5 check and take the pawn on B5. But we got modern defense Benoni move order. Not easy to play the Benoni. Is that a Husky? T yeah, it's a Husky fan t shirt. Husky. Husky's got merch now. Husky. So many good ways to play against Benoni, but however, you you know, you've got to be like an expert. Whatever you, you know, there are many ways to make the Benoni suffer, but I think white has to be like really, really tuned in. 
to understanding what they're doing. Otherwise, you can get wrecked. What is this? We're just transposing to... Alright, um, I have allowed B5 in the past. Mostly playing A4 here. This is technically... technically a, a standard variation, although the computer and, and the stats are better for white. What do you do, knight d7, queen e7, or knight h5, b6, anyone? Do the acerbate maneuver. I wonder about b6 right away. Yeah, I've never been a fan of this move. But it's better in the Benoni. It's not so bad in the Benoni, honestly. Like in the King's Indian and Old Indian, especially King's Indian, it's bad. I mean, here you have C4 sometimes. I mean, there's there's some basis for putting the Queen on C7, I guess. Queen H5, Queen H5. I don't know this exact position anymore. I just do stuff like Bishop F4, Rook E1. Queen D2. Maybe rookie rookie one is. Queen on C7 usually goes to E7 in my experience more often. But it does allow him to push C4 in some positions. Yeah, one of the things that I've learned in my experience was to be careful about putting this bishop on h2. There are scenarios where it just sort of ends up somehow kind of out of play. So oftentimes I'll just like put it on e3. Here I don't know which is better. I feel like it's a little weird with the rook on e1, but as tempting as it is to keep the bishop on that diagonal, I like my bishop to have the ability to go both ways. Years ago, I lost a game against um, one of our local Benoni players. Um, then I am Parkani Attila in a very similar position, but I don't remember if, you know, I lost because of the opening. I, I don't remember. I probably played G4 at some point. That's one of the weirdest things about these Benonis, where black's provocative, like knight h5. You know, sometimes, like, you're, you're basically goading Wade into playing g4, grabbing a space advantage, but it's double-edged. I mean, it's, it's the kink side, you know, so... I'm not really thinking of Bobby Fischer, Spassky type of G4. I mean, Bishop takes H5 or whatever. It's like he's going to redeploy. There's not enough time, man. That's 
I feel like this time control, it's better than Blitz, but we, you know, it's like tricky because you just start to feel like, oh, we really have time to think and then you don't, you know? It's kind of deceptive. Just when you start to think you have time to think, you don't really have any time. I like this little game we're playing, cat and mouse. The cat and mouse bishop knight game. I mean, you can like the queen on c7, but it doesn't contribute direct control to the dark squares like queen e7 does. It's more robust. The queen on e7 is more robust. WJ Loof, are you feeling robust? Would you like an MMA battle today? Perhaps a nice sparring match with a Chechen fighter or something like that. A Chechen bear. They call him the Chechen bear. Queen B6, I told Astrobe not to do that. <clears throat> Cap car. Welcome. I don't play online tournaments, but some of our team might I don't understand did like did like President Dvorkovich die or something why is it being referred to as the Dvorkovich Memorial alright is Bishop F3 good I feel like there's this, um, actually has yeah, C4 now, has to be his favorite move. The sweeper. Mind sweeper. It is Dvorkovich dad? Wait, are you serious? Was he like FTX? KGB officer or something? The honorary KGB officer. Communist Party leader. Man, Dvorkovich's dad. Dvorkovich looks like he's about 45. So his dad must be... Would have been around 70. Definitely... Makes sense. Seventy between seventy seventy five. All right. I assumed Workovich was younger than me, but it's hard to tell. I think he's probably in his like mid forties. do rook e3 there's always king 
prophylactic king moves. I want e5 to work, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Optimistic thinking. <sighs> Maybe the bishop f3 was a mistake. There's always f5 arsenal. Damn. I don't see what to do. It's no obvious continuation. Can to the sealer sweeper. Dvorkovich dad attack. I don't know. I don't even know like which square is better for my king. H one or or H two. Think Karpov. Oh shit. Karpov is Workovich's dad. This is getting more and more like Star Wars. <laughs> Just kidding, man. I get it, I get it. Look. Anatoly, you are my son. Anatoly, I am your father. I am your, I am your father. Karpov Workovich Sr. That would explain a lot, actually. Oh, come on. in a handbag? What's a handbag? I don't even know what a handbag is. I don't want to know, by the way. What's a handbag? Handbag. Hamburg. Handbag. Bags and shoes only. I just want everyone to know that I use your donations to buy bags and shoes. All right, we have Arsenal fan, anonymous player, hey, it's Miro. I tell the same jokes too many times. Whoa. Well, I guess this is easy. We're getting up 10 challenges again. Friday's popular. I have this one training session scheduled on, on Fridays for three o'clock and my, my student like, let me know at the last minute that he's going away for the long, the long weekend. I was like, dude, the long weekend starts it starts. It's a long weekend on Monday, not Friday, bro. People are just taking liberties with their long weekends. In the United States, it's... Oof. Yeah, the temptation to play G4 is so great. See, I knew I should have put my king on, on the other square. Be the ball.
Yeah, I was just, you know, using the time pressure, getting to make little concessions. We managed to keep a steady edge, though. It was a good game overall. He, his position, apparently at move, I missed E5. It's a, a very difficult move to play, especially when I have this on Passant. He took with the wrong piece on b6. Arsenal fan talks. Oh, th thanks. Tanks. Arsenal fan tanks. <clears throat> I know I've been playing a lot of e4, e5 lately. But I'm really trying to work on it. And I know that, like, Boo 11 was disappointed because I haven't played the Sicilian much. Um, I want to try something different. Damn, he, like, pre moved. Feels like a bullet. You wished for knight takes c3 and the Jinji and the. I know, you mentioned that. So, what happens if I play g6 here? I lose my queen. That's good. Okay, very well. Or knight c5. But I do, I do want to develop. Should I play d5 though? Knight c5? Are you serious? Arsenal fan is not tuned into the chat now. He's playing. He's totally playing bullet mode. I mean, really, I expected him to think a little bit in the opening with this unusual. This unusual knight b7 line and b takes c. But we didn't surprise him, or he's not acting surprised whatsoever. Bishop e7, knight c3. Bishop e7, c4, d5. Obviously, black's position looks retarded, to put it in a politically correct way. But I want to see if there's more to chess than just meets the eye. If Arsenal knows what he's doing and he's played this position before, then it, by all means it's okay to play very quickly. But if he doesn't, then he shouldn't be playing so quickly. But that's his normal pace. You know, he does his own thing. I don't really like the time management where you're just like playing super fast no matter what and use your time only when you get a bad position. I, I don't agree with that philosophy. But I guess in Blitz and Rapid, it's it's more acceptable than in than in OTB um, classical. He played C four. You're attacking my center. How dare you, sir? 
How dare you attack my center? This is a sophisticated position now, pretty complicated. You're not allowed to play on passant now. You missed your chance, sorry. Queen c2. He's eyeing up the c pawn. Hold on a second here. Just kind of natural development. No calculation necessary. Thanks to the game sense stick. Typical Benoni, but should you have played Bishop H8 when I play Bishop H6 or not? I think a lot of times that that type of maneuver is it's overrated, but I think it should be seriously considered because the the Benoni bishop is so important to Black. My friend Salanti would like sacrifice the exchange sooner than let me trade off his like g7 bishop. So here I was I was thinking about the bizarre queen e8 to sidestep ninety four. Bizarro. Leave queenside play. Screw him. You just go about your routine business, and I'm gonna play a four. Keep keep making routine moves. Hmm. Two bishops. That's better than six. I mean, it was made with two bishops in the middle of the board. How did those Tate boys end up like that? I don't know. All right. Anyway. Queen E8. Queen E8. I think a lot of people go for that bishop h8 plan too automatically, it's not at stake. But I thought it was it was definitely playable in your in your position. Whether it's best is another question I, I can't answer. Um, yeah, here we go. Arsenal is is playing for the king side. I got me a buy. I got me a D-pawn. I've alternated between several different, different plans in this game. Oops, I hung it again. Interesting. You know, Arsenal does well for minimal calculation. For someone who uses little to no calculation. Damn. Okay. You got to admit, you know. For a guy who's just not almost calculating at all, he does pretty well.
That's a nice idea. So at this point, should I should I take on b3? Well, why not? Interesting. It was possible to take with the queen. Four. Really interesting move. I'm saying interesting too much. It's too much. It's not interesting to say interesting continuously. Rook A two. That's a little too kinky. All right. Masturbate, I've been trying to tell him not to put his like big pieces up close and personal. Rook a2 is a perfect example. Perfect example of that. Up close and personal touch. I'm not objectively sure I did the right thing, but it's interesting. My favorite word. God damn it, I'm going to stop saying interesting. I need new words. I mean, if I ever play rook a2, he's playing queen b1. h4. Where, master? H4 has been called. Oh, you're going to play knight g5. Arsenal has good control of the center. I didn't even consider this. Queen exchange. Unbelievable. What a move. What a move. Damn. the pawn. Where's my pawn? Give me it back. I want my pawn back. Give me the freaking pawn back. Rookie 8 is none too exciting. Bogichog just gifted four gift subs, community. Nice. Caroline BX. Vinsro, Resting Forest, and Evil Gwyn. Nice job, thank you. That's kind of a crazy move. G3 weakening the long diagonal. Wow, super generous four gift subs to the community from Bogachog. Thank you. Bogachog, Columbia.
Over Chagas. Over Chagas. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. Bogus Chagas Thank you for the gift subs. Oof. Amazing. It's like what he was talking about, play on both sides of the board by white. Keeps changing. He's like a shapeshifter. Unbelievable. Shapeshifting. Shoot. Remarkable coordination by White. Let the torture begin. I was most concerned by ninety six there. But obviously this is a tough ending either way. But I mean chances to draw are reasonable. Wow, bishop b4. Shit. Are you serious? You're not serious. Doesn't look good. Well, I tried to make an illegal move. That's always good. Illegal moves are welcome.
Is that a good king position for me? Yeah, I'm lucky I'm not losing here. White's probably better. It's still a draw. I'm lucky. I was really, really close to toast. Man. It was a good game. It was a really interesting position. I don't know what point... And my pawn sack was good, and rook a2 actually worked. Jeez h4 queen b5 queen c4 i missed it this was a good game it was very interesting but you got a big big advantage later in the ending apparently i did have rook a2 but i didn't think it was good anonymous player make sure to drink enough water everybody defense that was a dynamic game for a Berlin defense <laughs> but I didn't play the traditional the traditional line <clears throat> you tried to recruit a chess friend of yours awesome referral we'll give you a referral code A small but devoted community. Well, I'll just try to recruit him in general. Her. Anonymous player. You're um, very anonymous. Extremely anonymous. He's in, as anonymous as it gets. So let's say just gifted a tier one sub to 2500 border coyote. Just before I moved from the United States, there was coyote in my, in the, in my house. It looked like a normal dog. It's like, whose dog is that? <clears throat> All right. Um. What is this business? F3 right away, wow. F3 right away. Do 
Do I have like Queen B6? No. Master B's favorite move. Everybody's favorite move. H6. I don't know. I guess we transposed something. 2,500 border collies have been deported by Suella Braverman from the UK. Did I say border collie or border coyote? I think I said border collie. <laughs> border coyotes. Now we're transposing anonymous player is moving instantly and suddenly knows like heavy duty theory. Those other openings he doesn't know. This is weird. I mean, F3, particularly against his move order with bishop d7, may not be that typical. But now we transpose back into an e6. He might just be, maybe he's just lucky. He's just lucky, it's just a coincidence. Um, <clears throat> I had this game once with white where I did like f4, but that's more typical. Yeah, what are we doing here? Bishop h4, excuse me? That's not allowed. 94, 94, 94, queen h4, knight c6, bishop c6. I feel like we already had this once. This happened before. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d8, knight takes d2. Sometimes we get lucky. Bishop H4 has never played with F3 that I can recall in a rouser. You go Bishop E3 there. Maybe Bishop F4 as well, but not Bishop H4. If he plays bishop e3, I'm going to play h5, <clears throat> by the way. Knight e4, queen h4, knight c6, bishop c6, knight takes d6, check. I feel like I already had that game with someone. This, is, this has got to be a blunder. Queen e1, no. He has to, um, what's up with bishop takes d8, knight takes d2, is that just bad for white? I'm on the f1 bishop, and his bishop, so I'm on both of his bishops, basically. That, that can't be good for white. Wee-oo, wee-oo. We're going to be missing that. <laughs> gonna be missing that man it's great when you're trying to go to sleep it brings back memories of of, of Dorset or pool um, for you there it goes <laughs> there goes the guy who drank the last Imperial stout That's pretty funny, man. <clears throat> the Emperor. The Emperor has spoken. Alright, now. This is very similar to another game. If Queen G5 check F4. I mean, it may have been against a different player, but I had nearly the same exact game. It could have been a slightly different position, and it could have been against a different player. Was it Yushaki? 
I don't know, I had some guy, the exact same ending. I don't even remember the result. I don't remember the player, the exact position, or the result, but it was this basic end game, which should be a draw, but it's not, you know, I mean, anything could happen here. It's it's competing pawn majority, so, you know, if you're playing like Richard Rockport and you're white here, you're not confident of a draw. Oh my god, dude. Queen C7. Have you had... Have you had um, yourself checked out lately? You might want to have an examination. First of all, I can castle, right? This is insane for white to play queen c7. You literally have to dig the ending there. You're only giving me options. Check. Check. Yeah, I like this. I like this. He has the king centralization. And then I was thinking, okay, no longer do I want to simply settle for a draw-ish endgame. I'm going to play for the win. The opponent's king is in the middle of the board. The opponent's king. This is the flop. Check, 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 check. I can't win a rook. This is your brain on drugs. Check, 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 check. Check. Somewhat unhealthy for white. <clears throat> we need to do more Yoda. Position this. Ah, oh, no, no, it doesn't work. I need a Yoda voice. Just change the order of the words. <clears throat> oh no, my a6 pawn is hanging. Oh no, my queen. You reckon. Texans reckon. I don't reckon. Queen c7. Queen c5? No, no, he like resigns if he plays queen c5. See, that's what happens, Arsenal, when you don't calculate. <laughs> Arsenal analyzes on intuition. He's always, he's a great player, but he's always like suggesting moves that lose by force. Because analysis requires calculation. You're just losing to queen, queen f4 check. I don't do rook takes rook, you know? You lose a whole rook and get made it. Other than that, it's great. Queen c5 not an option because of queen f4 check. Minor, minor difficulties. This queen has to be here to protect the f4 square so he can play f4, that's the point. All right, now, now we're having fun. Any reason? I need a reason not to do this. Thank you for slow rolling, Sledgy. Check with the knight. Oh, and the, and the Arsenal fan. That was a fantastic game. That was one of our more interesting games in a long time. It was a really interesting position with very dynamic chances for both sides. So I've got subscriber challenges from Miro, Red, Tomas, Tomas. Do you prefer Tomas or Tomas? 
Tomas. European pronunciation. Tomas. Hungarian's Tomas. All right. Yeah, anonymous player, dude. What are you doing here? You played an interesting opening with the bishop, um, with the f3. See, f3. f3 is rare. I didn't know what to do against this. H6 was best. I considered it. But after H6, Bishop E3. I would consider H5 here. Oh, we got a Muxublu game. Nasuta? I swear someone named Nasuda just followed me like yesterday. Um, Moksudlu. Alright, anyways. Miro. Oh, this has actually been played. Yeah, Bishop H4. Wow. Check it out. Jersey Pakiovich didn't play Knight TC4 in this position? Are you daft, man? I guess he was afraid it was a draw. Wow, this is an actual move? Holy shit. Queen E1, I was like joking about this. Holy shit, you can actually play Queen E1. I don't believe it. Wow. Because white has ideas of knight F5. That's the point. Oh my god. Maybe Yurishi was right. Damn, that's crazy. You you almost invented a new position. Ninety one. I mean, this still it's the critical move. I played the critical move. Yeah, I mean, you have to. I mean, Arsenal Queen E five. If you play this, is stupid though. I mean. White has to exchange queens and go into the ending here. I mean, that's insane not to, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do, bro. It was really irrational for... It was, like, mega irrational for... Um, uh, anonymous to, to not trade queens. I mean, come on. Last time I lost, I played the pet. Last time I lost the mirror, I played the Petrov. I lost in my Petrov line. I haven't played a Petrov in a while. So I've got four challenges. Um, we have like half an hour, guys. So I can probably take at least two more games. He's all geared up for this. Oops, I dropped my knight. We love to do that move, right? King Kong is back, but not a subscriber. Thomas Trainson, also a subscriber. Leo, also a subscriber. Subscriber. I started, I started saying subscriber in the chat, in the titles, because when I say subscriber really fast, it sounds like subscriber, like pawn grubber. But thank you to Bogachog for the gift subs. Guys, next week we're not streaming. Right. Bogachog, Colombia. Well, not this. You wouldn't play something boring, would you? You promised not to do anything boring. You're Hey, it's Mira. 
You don't do boring. Oh, you'll have to stream. All right. Kill my, I mean, I'm going to try to come back as soon as I can. You know, I just don't know when the cable guy is going to get there to install the internet and switch over. So I'm kind of at their mercy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <coughs> yeah, he played the boring variation. I looked at knight c5 here. That's a move, though. This is a move. This is legal. It's a little bit reminiscent of a game with, with Arsenal. Oh, hey, it's zero. Two knight f6 is the boring variation. <laughs> Very good. Touche. Sorry, I haven't played the Petrov in a while. I just... Sorry, I pulled it out against you. Well, last time I lost, man. So that's not too boring. Thanks, friends. Oh, made in one. That's a nice made in one you've got there. Do I? Do I miss something? I don't understand. Is this some kind of funky gambit or something? Like queen e7, castles, pawn takes e5? Oh my god. Queen e7, knight c3, c6. Queen e7, knight c3, c6. Bishop g5, queen takes e5, check. Why do I feel this strong temptation to play queen e7? Am I okay? Against this guy? Alright, whatever. I call your bluff. Oh man, there was this massive pot last week. Not massive, okay. We played poker last week and against this really drunk and loose rival, I um I had a hand where where I had to go all in with ace high in Texas Hold'em poker and It was more than, yeah, the pot was more than $300 or something. It was pretty big for a low stakes game. And it was funny because he shows down the ace high, <laughs> but I, I had a better kicker, so I won. We're all in with ace high, nine kicker. Oh, I, yeah, I only play in, in the poker club or the casino. Bishop e3, that's a different move. I would never play in home games. That's, that's uh, not allowed. Bishop e3. Bishop e3. Damn, that that's actually annoying. Wait. Oh, man, really? Shit. 
shit. Oh, that's too harsh. Hmm. C6. Wow, this bishop b3 is, is really annoying. It looks like I have to play knight e6 now. My position is dubious. Holy crap. Wow. Seriously. Chess is filled with psychopaths. I feel like the poker players are slightly more likely to use use this you know, the sinks when they wash their hands in the bathroom than the chess players. But it's close. The poker players are a little bit more socially Socially exist, existing in reality, um, but we never want to generalize, right? Bishop e6. Bishop e6. Bishop e6. Queen e6. Damn. This bishop e3 move is unbelievable. Well, if there's a refutation of of queen e7, that's it, man. Now I'm in trouble. I guess I have to play here. <sighs> My position is ridiculous. But not completely lost, hopefully. Maybe it's not that bad. Famous last words. So C6. C6 weakening the position and not developing. That's always good. I'm always striving to weaken my position and not develop. Bishop E7. Rook D1. Very, very astute Arsenal fan. Well, it, it shields B7, but it also weakens some squares, obviously. B6 in particular, but yeah, it's not that weakening. It defends d5 and it shields the b7 pawn. It's not simply a weakening. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's why I played it, you know, to shield b7. So I can, among other things, capture with the bishop on e6, should it come to that. Mr. Coffee, good luck this weekend. Tonight, Mr. Coffee. Right? You driving this afternoon? On the commute? Tomorrow. Oh. Okay, I don't understand. Why did I think there was a round tonight? Am I just wrong in thinking that? So it's not till tomorrow. Today's not a holiday.
because most tourneys, it's Friday night, but not three games per day. It usually is Friday night. I thought you sent me a message that it was Friday night. I thought in your schedule it said Friday night. I only got it from you. It's no big deal. I got that impression from you. But maybe it's my my perception of reality is different than most people. Queen G4. Hades Mirror has the ability to find superhuman moves that no others would even think of. Here he's going to castle, sacrificing his bishop on c4. Are you effing with me? What? Dude. What are you talking about? I was literally joking. Balls of steel. That's a bishop, bro. I can get, like, sacrificing the b2 pawn. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, I was, like, scared. I was waiting for the, like, the big reveal. I literally just joked that you would sacrifice your bishop. Plus two. Jesus. I didn't think it was that bad. It's plus two. After what was your line? I didn't see like the big deal, you know. I don't understand like why blacks like almost lost. Okay, this is restricted. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not worse, but it doesn't look like it should be like plus two. I looked at a three, queen a five, castles, castles. No, the queen has a5. I mean, I feel like the queen is okay. My problem is this bishop, you know. So it's kind of like subtle positional advantage for white. It's hard for me to get my bishop out. It's not my queen that's the problem. It's the other pieces. These queenside pieces can't develop. So my knight on e6. But I'm already in trouble. So queen e7 is just bad. Okay, my bad. Well, this queen f3 is, is a real line. I just couldn't remember. I have to play 96. Why is this so much better for me? Than, than the game, let's say. Well, you're gonna take with the bishop. Let's say white plays the same way, like bishop e3. I have bishop e7. No one took the pawn. Interesting. Anyway, all right, my memory failed me again. Queen e7 was obviously very bad. No problem at all. Whatever happened to no problem at all? King Kong, I don't think is a subscriber. Oh, it's Friday. I don't have to play subscribers. I forgot. <coughs> Alright. Okay, guys. Last game.
Yeah, we're out of here. I will see you on Sunday for a simul. Now, Astrobeat made me unban him. He might still be banned on Twitch, but he's not banned on... I don't remember why he was banned. Basically, Astrobeat made me unban him. I don't know why. They're like friends or something. Knight c3. King Bandy. Thanks, Kepkar. If the, um, if the first comment is about your grandmom, you're automatically banned. Don't need to read the rest. I think I had a game with Uber driver once a long time ago in this line. I've gotten in some trouble in these types of positions. Yeah, I wish I could stream longer, guys, but I've got to get ready for an appointment a little bit later. Overwhelmingly disturbing. Sorry about that ban. Bishop e4 check on a4. C6 is a move. Development is better. I think I'm supposed to play bishop c5 and I never would remember. This is what it was. It's not really like a very typical move. It almost feels like a scotch, doesn't it? It never recurred to me it was similar to the scotch. Attacking f7 is fine. Hanging your bishop is not. No, I'm sorry, hey, it's Miro. I forgot the queen f3 was like a normal move there. I thought you were experimenting with something weird. I know, I wish the streams were longer too. I wouldn't mind. It's just that I've got to do other, other work. I'd like to stream for another hour or two. Uh-oh. That's kind of awkward, bishop on e3. That doesn't seem right. Again, we have a scotch sort of theme. But now I can play knight f6 with impunity. With Im impudence. Knight f6 with impudence. Because the problem with... The problem with knight f6 was... Like, first of all, e4, e5. I thought about knight b5 here. That doesn't work. Alright, now... Probably, um, probably knight d7. But I mean, I don't think you're going to find this in the theory books on the Queen's Gambit Accepted. Hope this games are going well. Um, thanks, Shulby. I'm sorry that I can't stream longer. I got moving this week coming up. I got some stuff with the with the family today and um, and some work. And then Sunday I'm going to be streaming. And then next week we're off for moving. The 
big, the big move coming up. On Castle for White, of course that's possible. But it's very risky. Now how often does White Castle Queenside and the Queen's Gambit accept it? White's position looks slightly dubious. But maybe it's it's okay. I was thinking knight to g4, but what does it really do? Shadow threats. Shadow threats from the shadow minister. The hell is a shadow minister? Rook e8, bishop g2, knight e5, queen takes c5. It's not quite working. I should stick to fundamentals here. F7. I'm feeling C6 again. Maybe I should just play like bishop b6. Get my bishop out of take. My bishop is in untake. No, I mean, I'm not worried about any stuff like knight takes c6. It's, the only thing about c6 is that it's a tad slow, and it weakens the d6 square. I, I don't believe he has tactics or something. But maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe he did have it. Immediately he would have it. Wow. Bishop c5, knight c6. Seriously works. Pawn takes, bishop takes c5. Of course, wait, has to be careful. He's pretty far behind in development. You know, so something like that could backfire. Please tell me knight bd7, knight c6 worked. Knight c6 worked. Please tell me. Knight c6 worked. You're a sick individual. Dude, there's also knight e6. There's knight e6 and knight c6. I guess it might be that knight e7 wasn't so good after all. Jeez. So I have to play bishop d7, it looks like, after, after everything's said and done there. It looks like knight bd7 was a mistake. Wow, rook d1. Good, good. Knight f6 was maybe bad. I don't know, yeah. Right, I can play, you know, that's a normal Queen's Gambit thing. I mean, you know, I've never seen anyone play like this here with bishop e3, but it's a really strange position. Okay.
I don't know what to say, guys, about this account. That's not good. <clears throat> after, after the ban. After ban party. Bishop e3 is white's second most common move here. Wow, bishop c5. I'm misremembering. I can't believe there's only two games in the database where this position has been reached. It's really crazy. How is that possible? The engine literally says like white's best move is knight f3. And e takes d4 is literally black's best move. And now, okay, queen takes is better. But he does knight takes. It still should be playable. I must have been remembering a very similar position with bishop c5. But anyway, okay. So bishop b3 is definitely an engine move. Knight f6 is actually best. Check is actually best. Wow, and bishop d7 is actually best. And white keeps an advantage. After queen takes c4, dude, this is crazy. We're basically creating a new queen's gambit accepted theory. Bishop c5, novelty. Bishop e3, novelty, double novelty. Both sides play perfectly. And then after this, Arsenal is right. White at knight c6. What a fascinating tactic. And I could go here. But this is the best of all. Rook d1. Of course. Nothing strange about that. Totally standard move. Grimace. <laughs> That's just the standard position. You get every day. Every day. Totally standard everyday position. Nothing unusual about this. I thought taking, 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 playing for the initiative by sacrificing a pawn, but how? I can't trap his queen or something here. Get in the box! No. Yeah, this is kind of bad. I mean, I'm down a pawn. We could grab that, but I have compensation. Or you can grab this and I don't have compensation. Yeah, recognizing this is like a Catalan is interesting. Wow. Yeah, I totally missed knight c6, man. And apparently I should have played knight g4, but I, I was thinking I needed to get developed. Yeah, this move is just crazy. Queen b5. Queen b5 is just dangerous for your queen. But if he doesn't do the insane bishop g5, you know, ironically, I expected h3, and he's, like, lost here. So he has to play bishop g2. Why don't I have, like, knight to g4? Because it just doesn't do anything? Wow. Apparently, this is crazy. He has in-between move. Knight f5, bishop takes f5, bishop takes b6, obviously. And weight equalizes. Any idiot could see that. What a weird game. I had three inaccuracies, but 40 sent upon loss. What's up with that, man? Alright, guys, I gotta go. Anyway, interesting games today. I will be back on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support from Bogachog with four gift subs. We'll see you all on Sunday. Simul Sunday, 6.30 p.m. CEST. Thanks, Arsenal, for your game and for your contrib contributions to the uh, discussion, as always. Bye-bye.